questions. Yes. While well, I was started. So. Yes. Yeah, so, sorry. Why don't you? My bad. I, I think the most surprising thing I heard today was that only 7% of the population has heard of the United States. Right. The well, comment was the surprise that only 7% of the U.S. population knows about it. And um, this. No, of this declaration. Of, of, of the declaration. I think that, um, you know, they, the, what's interesting from what I have learned as I've studied more about the declaration, um, there is, I, and I'll be happy to give out some of you want to see uh, the newsletter. I had the pleasure of hearing Diane Anderson. She wrote the book Eyes Off the Prize. And it was about the drafting of the UDHR. And actually, um, Martin Luther King was a big proponent of furthering the principles of it. Uh, the NAACP played an active role in its drafting. And the reason behind that was it was seen as a mechanism to stop discrimination in the United States. And politically, as, as I've learned, at that time, Eleanor Roosevelt was warned by John Foster Dulles, who said, this will never be accepted as a convention or as a treaty, something that is enforceable, because there will be states that will never agree to be governed by an international agreement. And so that was why it was, signed, it was adopted as a declaration, which is basically an agreement, but it is not binding. And um, there have been treaties that have emanated from it that are, in fact, binding. Um, and the United States has signed some of those treaties, but has not signed others. Like, for instance, there is the Convention to End Discrimina Discrimina oops, Discrimination Against All Women. That has not yet been ratified by the United States. It's been held up in the Senate. Uh, the Convention to End Discrimination Against the Child has also not been signed by the United States. Um, however, uh, so I think there's been a controversy since its drafting about the United Nations as being seen as an international body trying to govern the U.S. as opposed to an international body trying to find a way for everyone in the world to navigate so as to avoid wars and holocaust. That was its intent. 